Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing some sort of test from an online, I just typed in self-tests, and we'll see what comes up. So this is from the Oprah.com website, and I guess it's just like the test is who am I meant to be? So I guess we're gonna find out who Dustin is meant to be. Let's see how, um, I don't know, I guess we'll find out what I'm meant to be. So question one is, others describe me as nurturing, supportive, and helpful. I'm gonna say always because I feel like that's true. Number two, I have tendencies to lose sight of my own need and focus on others. Okay, I'm going to say often because I feel like, me personally, I just feel like that's, that's true, so. Number three, I am more interested in relationships than goals. I'm gonna say sometimes because I feel like I balance relationships and goals pretty, pretty well. Number four, when others don't appreciate my help and support, I tend to do even more for them. I'm gonna say sometimes as well. You guys should comment down below for that, that question, because I don't know. Number five, I enjoy being the center of attention. It's also important that my work uh, be recognized. I'm also going to say sometimes for that one, I feel like it's nice for the work to be recognized, but I don't like to be the center of attention all the time. Sometimes I just like to be like in the background, just chilling. Number six, I am more interested in goals than relationships. I'm going to say rarely because I feel like although I do balance them, I kind of do care a little more for relationships rather than goals. Number seven, I am very conscious of my image and work hard to make sure it reflects my success. That, I'm going to say always, I try to keep all my social media, I try to keep all my social media, like, a certain way, like, I make sure that there's little to no cussing, I just try to make sure that everything is what I want people to see from me. Number eight, I have tendencies to try to meet others' expectations. I'm going to say often to that, because although... I can care less what people think of me. I, depending on who it is, sometimes I like to meet their expectations or even just go above and beyond their expectations, like at work and or something that I really care about. Number nine, I get pleasure from being creative. I'm gonna say always to that because I love being creative and I just love like all the arts and everything, so. Number 10, others, have described me as too emotional. I'm gonna say often to that because when I was a little kid, I was super, super emotional. I'm a Taurus, I guess it has something to do with it. But yeah, I used to be super emotional. Now I've kind of dialed my emotion like way down, like way down. But I mean, I guess I'm still emotional. Number 11, I don't have time for shallow relationships. I am interested only in making authentic connections. I want to say often to that as well. Although I do have like acquaintances that I mean I just like to keep as acquaintances. I would much rather work on nourishing a relationship with someone and just working on that and being good like people who we can call friends. 12. I don't feel it is important to adapt to society to societal to societal expectations. I'm going to say often to that as well uh because society can think one way and you can think another. It just kind of depends on where you're at in life and like really just do what you like, do what you love. Number 13. When presented with a new experience, I embrace it. Uh, enthusiastically. I'm gonna say always, I love trying new things, I love trying new foods, I love trying, like, new experiences, I love, like, visiting new places and just exploring, and yeah, so I'm gonna say always to that. Number 14, because my interests are so wide-ranging, I often burn the candle at both ends. I'm gonna say always to that, just do what you love. Like, if it's two completely different things, do both. Like, number 15. 
I have a strong need for adventure, excitement, and novelty. I'm gonna say always to that because we're always supposed to be like on the, our, like, our tiptoes, like look, seeking new adventures, like I said before, traveling to new places, and just having a great time. Do what you love. Number 16. People sometimes mistake my exumbrious for impulsiveness or lack of discipline. I'm gonna say often to that. I feel like I've gotten judged in the past because people just like think that I wasn't raised correctly or I don't have enough discipline or something and it's not that it's just I like I like doing me and like at the end of the day like who are you to tell me what I can or can't do so you're not my mom you're not my dad 17 others depend on me for my insight and wisdom I'm gonna say sometimes I do get some people who always come ask for me for advice, but mainly I get people who mainly I get people who just come and talk to me because I'm a great listener. Number 18, I'm driven to be knowledgeable and competent and to understand how things work. Always, I love to figure out how things work. Number 19, under stress I tend to withdraw and isolate myself. I'm gonna say often to that. If I'm super, super stressed, like instead of like, let's say I'm stressed at work or something, like we had a hard weekend, instead of going out and like doing something fun afterwards, I just like to come home and just like watch Netflix or something and like cut up in blankets and just like chill. But like if I'm not stressed, like I love going out on adventures and like doing all that kind of stuff. I enjoy the kind of work where I can be my own and uh, be my own to learn. Number 20. I enjoy the kind of work where I can be on my own to learn and invent. I'm going to say sometimes I do like having like that freedom, but sometimes I also like direction and a way to do things, like a specific way to do things just so that I know what's good. Number 21. Others would describe me as loyal, hardworking, and predictable. I'm going to say always to that. A big priority in my life is safety for me, for my friends, and for my family. I'm gonna say always to that. Number 23, I strived to do what I expected of me. Number 23, I strive to do what is expected of me, and I am respectful of authority. I'm gonna say always to that. I am always super, super respectful to, like, anybody who's, like, in authority, I guess. I'm never, like, disrespectful and I usually strive to meet their expectations. Number 25, I like to have the authority and responsibility to make my own decisions. I'm gonna say often to that, there is a, like sometimes that I'm just like, okay, no, like this is like, I can't make up my mind. I need somebody else to make a decision for this. But usually I try to go like based off of like wisdom, or not wisdom, like, per se, like, I try to go off of, it's like an educated guess, almost, like, 26. Others depend on me to know what needs to be done, and often to do it. I'm gonna say sometimes to that. Number 27, I seek opportunities where I can be in charge of people and outcomes. I'm gonna say often to that, or sometimes to that, I don't know why. I often find myself advising others. I'm going to say often to that, like I said before, people do come to me for advice, and I try to do my best. Oh, looks like I'm finished. So below are the scores. Find out the personality type with the highest score, and scroll down uh, to read the associated description. The one with the highest was striving to be spontaneous, and the description for that is, You are an adventurer. Action-oriented, curious, outgoing, and often technically gifted. You live for new experiences. You are drawn to risk-taking and aren't afraid to fail. Generally restless, uh, you tend to job hop or choose a field that offers constant novelty. If you had to name your favorite place, it might be the, sen the center of attention. You're born an entertainer and can easily adapt to any audience. While you collect many acquaintances, you're less likely to develop deep, committed relationships. I feel, for the most part, that is pretty accurate. Like, the whole thing about, like, changing jobs, like, every so often. Um, although, 
like I don't like being in the same place for for a large like amount of time. Um, I love to travel and just like experiencing new places. So I feel like the test was for the most part pretty accurate. But yeah. So thank you for watching my channel. I actually had tons of fun doing this, so I might be doing a few more tests in the future. Comment down below if you liked me doing like this like self-evaluating test. Um, if not, also comment down below, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also if you haven't, uh, go watch Yoshi's video and also subscribe to his channel. I'll have his stuff right here and my stuff right here. Cool. Thank you. Bye.